As a Muslim woman, I do think about issues surrounding buying and selling, but it gets so confusing. In a typical month, I go shopping regularly as well as buying clothes online and eBay. Without my credit card, I'm stuck. I always rely on it until I reach my limit. I just bought a sofa on a buy now pay later agreement, or 20% APR. My car finance payments are £250, and I took an online loan to put down a deposit. And of course, I want to buy a house, so I'm confused on which Islamic mortgage is acceptable to choose. I'm also unsure on the permissibility of my pension, but with so many options, it really is confusing on which type of Islamic transactions or finance is permissible. Therefore, I need clarity, and I need to know the real deal. So I'm going to Al Kortha's Real Deal course. This will give me all I need to learn. As a businessman, some of my financial dealings concern me. I enter into different business contracts all the time. Receiving credit on stock and giving credit is an everyday thing. Properties I own, which are also business properties, have different payment and rental schemes attached to them. I'm unsure if drop shipping between myself, other businesses and customers, which I engage in, is even valid. The permissibility of some of my business dealings is questionable. Therefore, I need clarity, and I need to know the real deal. So I'm going to Al Quarter's Real Deal course. This will give me all I need to learn.